WordPress includes various content types divided into post types, such as posts, pages, attachments, navigation menus, and revisions. Today, you will learn to create a car post type, associate meta fields with the car, and display it in your theme. First, let's differentiate between WordPress's post types and why you might consider creating a unique and custom post type. In WordPress, post often means two things. In the database, a post is a single entry in the posts table that can have various meta information associated with it. When most of us talk about posts, we mean the posts in our blog, which belong to the post, post type. Two common default post types WordPress offers are pages and posts. Pages represent static content for information that only changes sometimes. They don't typically have categories or tags associated with them. An example, about us or contact us are pages that you would often see on a site. Posts represent dynamic content and are designed to be updated regularly. They can have taxonomies associated with them like categories or tags, meaning that they'll be displayed on multiple archive pages. Check out what is a post type to learn more about WordPress's existing post types and their capabilities. Now that you're familiar with WordPress's default post types and their purpose, let's clarify why you might consider creating a custom post type. Pages and posts are helpful for simple data organization. However, you will eventually need to create custom post types for complex data needs. Some common examples include products for an e-commerce website, portfolio items or projects, events for a booking or listing site, employees for a staff listing. For this example, we want to create a car post type with custom meta fields to associate discrete information about each car. Now that you have familiarized yourself with a custom post type and when to create one, let's start by registering a custom car post type with ACF. Our car post type will allow you to associate a custom taxonomy and custom fields, expediting your data architecture needs. In this demonstration, we'll use the default 2019 theme and show you how to display custom field data on a single car post type, including the price, mileage, and miles per gallon. Within the WordPress admin area, you will go to ACF Post Types and choose Add New Post Type. You need to fill in a few essential details to register your car post type. In our case, we only need the bare essentials. We'll assign cars for the plural label, car for the singular label, and ACF automatically fills in the post type key. Optionally, under the advanced configuration toggle, we can assign an icon which will represent the icon in the WordPress admin menu. Be sure to save it and you're all done. If you're curious to learn more about each field, then please check out ACF's Registering a Custom Post Type Guide. Now that we've registered our car post type, let's add our first car. Click Add Car, enter your car title, and some info in the content, assign a featured image, and save your car. If we preview what the vehicle looks like, we'll see that our theme shows some basic information, but nothing like what we truly desire. Note, we're using one of WordPress's default 2019 themes for this demonstration. So let's see how we can create a chow theme and extend 2019's template logic to output some custom meta information. We'll start by creating a new directory in our themes folder called ACF demo. Inside this new ACF demo child theme, we'll place two files, a functions.php and a style.css. Check out the WordPress developer handbook's guide on creating child themes. With these two files and the subsequent code added, we can activate our child theme and revisit our newly added car to verify that nothing has changed. We also now have a place to put our theme customizations without worrying about modifying the original 2019 theme. Next, let's add some custom fields to our car post type. We have our car post type registered and we're now utilizing a custom child theme. Now we want to associate critical data with our car post type. Let's create a new ACF field group and assign our car details. Go to ACF, Field Groups, and choose Add New. The first thing you'll want to do is give your field group a relevant title. 
And then at the bottom of the screen, under Location Rules, choose Post Type is equal to Car. The Location Rules is where you assign this field group to your car post type. Next, let's begin by adding our fields. We'll start with just a few critical fields to demonstrate. Let's add a field for price, mileage, and miles per gallon. We'll use a text field for our price and a number field for our mileage. ACF offers a wide range of field types for you to use. Be sure to check out the resources area on advancedcustomfields.com to dive into each field type. We'll use a number field for our mileage. We can utilize ACF's append option to append miles to our field, which should help the experience for our editors. Finally, we'll utilize a group field to organize our related miles per gallon fields. One for city and one for highway. The nested miles per gallon fields will each use the text field type. Once you're done adding your fields, then always be sure to save. Now that we've registered our fields, let's edit our existing car to add the price, mileage, and miles per gallon. If we save the new data and preview the final car, we'll notice that none of our meta information is output. This is because we need to add our meta field logic to output in the necessary template. Remember, this is why we created a child theme. So far, we've registered our car post type, assigned the vehicle details field group to the car post type, and we've assigned some values to our custom fields. We've also created a child theme to organize our custom template logic. Now we need to ensure that our vehicle details are displayed correctly. We'll start by copying over two critical template files from 2019 and pasting them into our ACF demo child theme. The single.php file typically represents a single post type. However, we want it to display our single car post type. We can copy the file, but then replace the template part it references to point to the content-car.php file. We'll remove some of the unnecessary logic from the single.php file while we're at it. In the content-car.php file, we'll reference the values for our fields. To further refine the presentation, you can use any type of HTML markup and CSS styling. Be sure to check out the final code base on GitHub and experiment by adding or removing your own ACF field types. Finally, if you preview and refresh your car post type, then you'll see the custom field data output on the page. And that's it! In future videos, we'll show you how to create a custom taxonomy, associate it with your new custom car post type, and display all of this critical information on the front end of your site.